In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and use Zoom Transition preset into DaVinci Resolve 15. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first of all, we have to change some settings. So click on this setting button and change this timeline frame rate 24 to 30 fps and set this playback frame rate 30 fps and go to this optimize media and render cache and check this box and this one also for a smooth render preview and click on save all right so now we have to import our video clips so go to the folder and import your video clips so i'm using this one this one and this one and just drag this footage to the media pool something like that click on don't change all right so i have three clips over here and i have downloaded this from pixabay.com and a link given in the description so go to the link and download these clips if you want and now let's arrange this clip to the timeline so i'm using this one first so just drag and drop to the timeline something like that and now i want to start this clip from here so add a cut over there so just select this cut tool and add a cut something like that and now select this and press delete and now i want to keep this clip three seconds long so just set this cti on three seconds and add a cut over there something like that and select this and delete it now import your second footage so i'm using this footage so just drag and drop to the timeline something like that okay and now add a cut over here something like that and select this and press delete and now i want to add zoom transition between these two clip so place this cti over here and move this cti 20 frame forward in time so it should be 3 second and 21 frame so add a cut over there so just select this cut tool and add a cut okay and go to 20 frame backward in time from here so it should be 2 second and 11 frame over here and add a cut something like that okay now select this clip and drag and drop something like that and select this bottom clip and just drag it something like that and now select these both clip and right click on this and here is new fusion clip so click on this okay and select this and go to fusion tab so here we get this node so right click on this and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap and now we have to add a transform after this merge node so select this merge and click on this transform button to add a transform node and let's find out that frame where we have added a cut so so it's frame number 19 okay first footage and the second footage go to frame number 19 and select this transform and go to inspect a tab and here it's size so put this value something around 0.5 and hit enter okay and here is edges so change this canvas to mirror okay and right click on size click on animate and go to one frame forward in time on frame number 20 and set this value 1.5 and hit enter okay and now go to 15 frame forward in time from frame number 19 so it should be on frame number 34 and set this to default and go to 15 frame backward in time from frame number 19 so it should be on frame number four and set this to default so now it's looking something like that okay now let's open your spline window so click on this spline and check this box and click on this fit button select all these keyframe click on this smooth okay and now let's create a curve something like that so hold this handle and create a curve something like that and hold this handle also and create a curve something like that 
okay now close this spline window and now we have to add a blur node so select this transform press ctrl and a space bar for search box and search for blur so this is our zoom blur select this zoom blur and click on add okay and go to frame number 19 okay and here is a smooth strength so set this value 0.5 and hit enter and right click on a smooth strength and click on animate and go to 15 frame backward in time so it should be on frame number four and set this value zero and go to 15 frame forward in time from frame number 19 so it should be on frame number 34 and set this smooth strength value zero okay and open your spline window again and uncheck this size and click on this fit button select all these keyframe and set the cti in center of the curve and click on this smooth hold this handle and create a curve something like that and hold this handle also and create a curve something like that and now close this spline and now let's check this transition so click on this edit tab and let's play this okay so click on this loop button and play this again all right so it's looking nice now let's create a preset of this transition so go to this fusion tab select these both node and right click on this and here is setting and here is save as so click on this save as and select your location so i'm selecting desktop zoom transition and let's rename it to zoom and click on save all right so now go to edit tab again and let's check this preset so let's import another video clip so select this clip and drag and drop to the timeline something like that and select this audio and press backspace to delete this audio only okay and now let's add a cut over there so just select this cut tool and add a cut something like that now select this and delete it and now i want to add zoom transition preset over here okay so just go to 20 frame forward in time so according to 30 fps it should be 6 second and 21 frame okay so add a cut over here and now go to 20 frame backward in time from here so it should be 5 second and 11 frame and add a cut over here something like that and now drag this clip something like that and select this bottom clip and drag it something like that now select these both clip right click on this and click on this new fusion clip okay now go to this fusion tab and import your zoom transition preset so just select this and drag and drop to this flow window so now place it over here and just deattach this and select this transform hold shift and attach this something like that okay and now select this node hold shift and attach this something like that okay now go to edit tab and our transition is ready so now let's check this Alright, so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys. I hope you like it. So I will see you next tutorial. Till then, bye bye.